What's going on, everybody? This is Coach Gamble back with our memory verse of the week. Please forgive me if this video quality doesn't look as good, look as sharp. Um, my camera is not looking great, but we'll see. Uh, this week we have Proverbs 6 and 6. As you know, let me read it from the New King James Version. It says, Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. <laughs> Um, the New Living Translation, I'm just reading this just for, um, just for understanding sake. You still need to remember uh, uh, the New King James Version. It says, take a lesson from the ants, you lazy bones. Learn from their ways and become wise. <laughs> I think that this verse is about stewardship. Uh, our stewardship is defined as the wise management of all that God has given us. And we have a responsibility to take what God has given us and do something good with it. It's those things like our time, our talent, our treasure, our opportunities, our health, our relationships. Uh, those types of things, we have to steward or manage those things well. It's our responsibility to do that. And so Solomon is challenging lazy people with the fact that ants are more diligent and deliberate than lazy or sluggard humans. Are you smarter than that? <laughs> the truth is many of us are living for today. We're living for right now. We're living for what makes us happy right now rather than understanding that tomorrow is coming. Many of us live our lives in a way uh, that, 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 that says, I want what makes me comfortable right now. Many live this way in terms of their relationship with God as well. OK, we're just living for right now and not caring for our soul and not remembering that tomorrow is going to come. A lot of us live this way in sports, right? Like we're going to be able to play forever and you're not going to be able to play forever. And many of us live this way in our relationships, like our parents, or our grandparents are going to be with us for the rest of our lives. So we don't spend the time or say the words I love you to them. You know, the reality of it is we have to learn how to think ahead. The ant considers tomorrow and the effects of their decisions and work today. They gather food in the summer, but they don't eat it all. They save it because they know when the winter comes, the food is not going to be as readily available for them. So they store it away. They keep in mind that tomorrow is coming and that my work today is to benefit me tomorrow as well. And so my question is, what about you? Is the ant smarter or wiser than us? Are you smarter than the ant? Do you think beyond the present and consider your future? Are you wise enough to realize that tomorrow depends upon today? Can you make wise decisions on your own because you understand that you can't get the, to the right destination going the wrong direction? It's just not going to happen. This could be applied to our, to our living every single day. We got to think ahead. We got to use wisdom in making decisions. We can try to live our lives like God isn't going to hold us accountable, but we know the day is coming where we will stand before Christ and give an account for how we've lived. And so the ant is a good steward of their lives and we, we must do the same thing. And so Solomon is challenging us here. Don't let the ant be smarter than us. Learn to think ahead. Learn to think about Okay, if I make this decision, how is it going to impact my tomorrow? Now, you know you've got to memorize the verse. You've got to explain the verse. But you also have to tell me how you would apply it to your life. I apply it to my life by saying I need to enjoy today, but I need to also remember that tomorrow is coming. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to make decisions today that's going to hurt my tomorrow. And I want to encourage you, be careful saying, I don't care. Be careful saying whatever, because one day you are going to care. And your future self will look back at your present self and say, man, why we, didn't we do a better job stewarding or managing the opportunities that came our way? We could have gone further if we had taken advantage of what God had given us today. Look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Love you all.